March Madness, it is still in full swing. Saturday's action, though, alas, saw Mizzou season end with a loss to Oklahoma. Yeah, we all hated to see that, but as Fox News' Mike Colombo shows us, that game meant something extra for one local family. Steve and Megan Water Cuddy's courtship started courtside. Our first date was Valentine's Day. I was a poor law student. We went to an OCU, Oklahoma City University, NAI basketball game. Free admission. When they married after graduation, only sports could separate what God joined together. Steve from St. Louis bleeds Mizzou black and gold. Megan, a native Oki, claimed crimson and cream for her beloved Sooners. It was just part of our household, so she really didn't have a choice. I had <laughs> a lot of hate for Oklahoma football all the way growing up because they've done nothing but beat, you know, they've done nothing but beat Mizzou. Right-footed soccer-style kicker approaches the football. We're underway. That was until October 23rd, 2010. McGaffey across the 25. Homecoming and game day in Columbia, Missouri. So we drive down over the game. He gets to midfield and he may go. Mizzou runs the kickoff back, 80-some-odd yards. John McGaffey, I still remember. Loudest thing I've ever heard for O'Field. Touchdown, Missouri! I went crazy during the kickoff. She then moved and relocated to an aisle and just sat in the aisle on the stairs because she didn't want, want to deal with me after we just, you know, the place went bananas. I was on cloud nine. Mizzou just beat the number one team in the country, a team that I've never seen us beat Great run back. in my life. And she was genuinely salty. When their house divided grew to include children, even the kids planted fan flags. You ask them where they're going to college, Scarlett, Six-year-old says, going to OU. You ask my son where he's going to college, he says, Tigers. They can go anywhere in the country as long as it's not Texas or Kansas. But they would have taken a loved one turned Longhorn over the opponent they encountered in the fall of 2019. And the doctor from urgent care, they ordered a CT scan. He came back in the room, uh, informed us that she's had, she has multiple brain masses, abnormalities. Two days later, Megan was in surgery. Two months later, they got the diagnosis, epithelioid sarcoma, a rare soft tissue cancer. Steve and my wife was there 99% of the time, and I was there about 95% of the time. And Our son came in, and we took turns with her, and, and it, uh, each day got worse. For 13 months, she courageously battled cancer. Megan entered hospice December 30th. And I took the kids to say goodbye one final time. Megan was alert. Um, hugged them, kissed them, told them, told them how much she loved the kids. My wife called me and said, you need to come in here. Megan Watercutty died January 4th. She was 37 years old. She went peacefully after a long, tough fight. I was comforted by the fact that she was no longer in pain. I mean, those last two months were very, very hard. Her Sooner spirit set in stone at her final resting place. And rest assured, she picked this matchup made in heaven. So it'll be Missouri against Oklahoma. When they said 8-9 seed, Mizzou and OU, you know, I just, I had a grin. Uh, I chuckled and I, I looked up and, you know, I knew Megan was, was just kind of toying with me. And it's game on now. Oklahoma comfortably controls the tip, and we are underway from Indianapolis. A back and forth first half set the stage for late game drama. Here we go. Drew Smith, step back three, lets it fly. It's good. <laughs> Drew Smith wants to keep on playing. But the Sooners were too much down the stretch. Drew Smith lets it go, and that will do it. Oklahoma survives and moves on. They win it 72 to 68. If we had lost to any other team, there'd be a lot more sting. Megan celebrating, uh, you know, she came out victorious. Wouldn't you know, just a few hours after OU won, Texas was tossed from the big dance. The unbelievable Abilene Christian with the biggest win in school history. Perhaps another message from Megan for those determined to keep her memory alive. In our house, we have a picture of her from her wedding on the beach. And every time I look at it, I think of Megan. A family once roiled in rivalry, together forever on Team Megan. I'm Mike Colombo, Fox 2 News.